Hello, this is the Garfield's Creations and more four. Finally, sorry I haven't been doing it a lot because I was I'm not at my friend's house a lot. And and today he's visiting with his grandma. I'm going to I tried to make the video a fourth, but he was messing with the mouse and um and he made be very bad. Okay, enough with that, but I have something really cool to show you. Hold on. Okay, and I have it. It's kind of big, and it's Star Warning. Warning, warning, warning. This is Star Wars, so if you don't like Star Wars, please, please, please leave now. And and I haven't said this before. Please like, leave a like, cause likes are greatly appreciated. And 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 if I get at least ten likes, um, I will be doing a face reveal. Okay, this is cool. It's a puzzle, so if you don't like puzzles too, you better not chew this. Now, if you forgot, I am 15. And today, mommy made pancakes again. Sorry, that was my friend's mom. That's her ringtone for someone. I don't know who. I'm here, like, at least a, once a week. Yeah. <sighs> Hold on. Oh, well. So this is... A jingle, I mean Boba Fett puzzle. Um, I remember. See? Hold on. Here we go. And you know what's cool about this puzzle? Is that Boba Fett is made out of seeds. Oh, no, no. You can That's, see. From what I've observed, you know, in my many like every, times, every puzzle, every puzzle is one picture. Every puzzle. I mean, every piece has a scene on it. You can't really see. But there's also a Star Wars Force Awakens. Um, I think you could get this Boba Fett one at, at, at like, Walmart. And this is the... So, and this might take you a couple of weeks. You know why? Because it's a thousand pieces. Look at it. Doesn't it look like a thousand pieces? Yeah, I think it does. I even have to bend this over. So there's a Force Awakens. There's two Force Awakens. Look. A scene made out of scenes, BB-8. The one that looks the closest is BB-8 made out of scenes. Okay, so that's that. Okay, so I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. I have a fake I could. We're gonna move to a different room. Hold on. Now this is a real guitar. Here.
is a bass guitar, not like a lead guitar or other kinds. This is a bass. And I'm gonna, and I have a violin that I could play. Hold on. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Hold on. Here's my violin. Play violin. Well, I haven't finished learning. And here's my bow. Not gonna play because it's not ready. So, hold on. Well, I already took my bow. Now I'm doing something that's called rosin. And I'm using, this is called a rosin. So, I just have to do this along the horse hair. You don't want to touch it. So, I have to do this a few more times. Okay. Now, let me. Get my position correctly. Okay, so I... Okay. Um, so there's four strings. The E string is this one. The A string's right there. The D string is right here. And the G string is right there. This might be out of tune, so it doesn't sound right. Leave in the comments down below. And next time I play this... I'll ask my friend's mom. His name is J John. I think it's John Jimmy or something. I, I know his first name is Jimmy or John. Okay, so, but I'm, I'm leaving the comments down below if you think this is boring. Because if it is, I won't do this again. I'm just going to do... It one more time. And if you play this, then you'll you can play guitar, cello, like all those better. Okay, I'm going to put this away now for you. Now let me put the rosin away in a special compartment. And I have a shoulder rest and a chin rest. And here's going to be a here's going to be the worst part of doing this. this. There should have been a squeeze, squeak. There's usually a squeak. Then I have my own violin case. Then I put the rosin in this little case. And then, and then see, I have my shoulder rest. I just, just, hold on. Pop this off. And then, see, wait, hold on. See this? This is where I put it. Okay, so I put that there. Then I'm going I'm going to put the bow in last because you have to do something to it. Like loosen the horse hairs. So I open Velcro. No. So
So I put this in here, and then Velcro it, and it has to fit with the um, shoulder rest, so where it won't get scratched. My violin is very good in shape. So this, so the last and a very important thing to do is turn this knob left like three times, but I have to do it more because it's too tight. That's good. And then you have to put it upside down, up here, up, up in here. And then oh, you, you can um, see. So you can see that little compartment. And then I put this in there. Then see that knob thing? You stick it there and then turn turn that. And then we close it. That's not off. We have to zip it up. And then we can then we can strap. You can do your own technique for the strap. Then it has a, it should have a handle or the strap. This and then you can take it. Now I'm gonna go set it down. And you notice I'm not seeing my working chair. So I'll be right back. And one more tip, you you never put this upside down. You keep it on its side like this or like this. You never put it where this pocket is facing downwards. You never do that. Now I'm gonna go put this away. Be right, be right back. Burp, or be right back. Okay, I'm back in my filming area. And then I have my special blank that I take. And I'm gonna go get something. Okay, it's a doggy. Okay, so it's Mrs. Farfin. And she is, in fact, about a year old now. When I filmed her in the first video, she was probably about 9 or 10 months. So, congratulations, Farfel. You are officially a year old. And my friend's mom really wants her. I'm just kidding. I'm not going to say anything about that. Well, I'm going to clip your noses. Thank you for watching. Wait, I don't know that thing. Well, thank you for watching Garfield's Creations and more. Four.